So now we've got the video file into video analysis and we're ready to analyze it. There are several things we need to do first. Notice that uh, we've got this woman in the middle of the screen. Our fan card is way over at the left. Um, we need to set this so that the software knows where we want to start um, analyzing the motion. So I'm going to let this play for just a little bit until she gets out of the way and our fan cart gets out um, partway down the track. And I want to consider this the original point in the motion. So I want to start analyzing the video from here on. I don't care about anything that happened before this. So there are a couple things we need to do. First, we need to let the software know that this is the specific point in time that uh, we want to consider the origin. So right up here on this 1.0 scale, that tool, we're going to click that, and that brings up two tools. This one is the origin tool, and we can put this anywhere on the screen, but we want to put it right here on our fan cart and let it know that this is the point that uh, is the origin. This is the zero point. And on that fan cart, notice that yellow tape. I'm going to use the leading edge of that yellow tape as my reference point as the fan cart moves. So I'm going to put this bullseye for the origin right there on the leading edge of the yellow tape and let go. So now the software will know that that is the zero point. Now this tool that has the, the circles on each end is the scale tool. The software will also need to be able to set up a scale so that it knows when the image of the fan cart travels a certain distance across the screen, well, how much distance does that correspond to in the real world? So here on the front, notice that uh, they were nice enough to tape a meter stick down here. So I'm going to take my scale tool and put the left bullseye right on the left edge of the meter stick and the right bullseye right on the right edge of the meter stick. And so right up here now, the software knows that 1,038 pixels on the screen corresponds to one meter of distance in the real world. So the software now knows where the origin is, where the zero point is, and what the scale is. Now, anytime I measure distances or have the software measure distances, it's always going to measure from this point. And it can measure distances both horizontally or in the X dimension as the cart moves across the screen, but it will also measure automatically above here in the Y dimension or the vertical dimension. Now, since this cart is only moving in the X dimension, I don't care about any of the data that's collected in the Y dimension. The software is going to go ahead and collect it automatically, but uh, I'm just going to ignore all the data that deals with motion in the Y dimension. So I've got my scale set up. I've got my origin set. The next thing I'm ready to do is start adding some points. So I'll go up here and I will click Add, and in the next video I'll show you how to set up your graph and collect the data.